down to 10, handed off to Saylor. Looking for some room, busted out over here to the right-hand side, breaks the tackle, midfield 50, Ohio 40, Ohio 35, and finally knocked out of bounds. Cooper Rush fakes the handoff, looking towards the end zone, wants to throw the football over there. It's high, and it is it caught. It is a Central Michigan touchdown for Connor Oderkirk, who took it away from the defender, and the Chippewas are on the board. And that ball was thrown, Donnie, about as good as you can throw it. Tettleton in the gun, back to pass. Has time, throws it downfield. It's intercepted. Kayvon Frazier has it at the CMU 40 midfield, and he's going to go down at the Ohio 47. So Kayvon Frazier with another pick for the Chippewas at the Central Michigan 12-yard line. Tettleton in the gun again, wants to throw the football, looking towards the end zone, lost it in that direction. It's intercepted. It's intercepted by Greer for Central Michigan. What a play. Boykin is the running back. He's going to not get it. Tettleton's going to roll out to his right, throw in the end zone, touchdown. Well, first down and 10 now at their own 31-yard line. Tettleton back to pass again. Looking deep down the center of the field. Has a man at the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Bobcats. Third and goal from the Ohio 7. Rush back to pass again. Looking to his left. Now over the center of the field. Throws in that direction. Central Michigan touchdown. Wide open. Sailor Lavalle in the end zone. And the Chippewas retake the lead 19-17. Pistol formation one more time. They got... Extra body on the left-hand side, going to run it with Boykin, and he plows over the Chippewa Shamari Benton and falls into the end zone. Rush back to the shotgun, looking to left-hand side again, throws it. This one's caught for a touchdown. Central Michigan takes the lead. Courtney Williams on a slant, and CMU leads Ohio on the road 25-23 with 22 seconds remaining. When you, win, when you win, win against a good team on the road, you can't turn the ball over. You have to win the turnover margin. And Ohio, you know, we have a ton of respect for Coach Solich and his staff. They've been here a long time, um, have, have accomplished many, many great things, and have a lot of continuity on their staff. So it was, a, it was a big win, you know, and I told our players, you know, Titus Davis didn't play today, which we knew that um, the last couple of days. And, you know, I just said, you know, nobody's given give us a shot. So the only people who are going to believe it are the guys, as you mentioned before I got on the, on the radio, or the guys in the bus.